The Welsh rugby team recently visited South Africa to play against our national team. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. What are you guys doing here? We're training the kids for the future. For tomorrow? You mean the kids? Yes. We're just training and transferring skills to the kids, helping to develop them. They're training our future rugby players. Hello. Hello. Share your impressions of South Africa. Beautiful country. Absolutely beautiful country. The people I've met have been fabulous. The food is brilliant. Food is outstanding. And, and a very, very warm welcome. And today, this is the highlight of the tour so far, meeting these children and the future generations of deaf rugby internationals. Yeah, I'm South Africa lost the first test, but now the second test is about to begin. Is Sadru proud to host this tour? We as the South African Deaf Rugby Union are extremely proud to have reached this point in our history after an eight year journey to be able to compete in our very first ever Deaf Rugby International and to do so against the world champions, Wales. Wales is a phenomenal team, a great team. They are world champions for a reason. They're a settled outfit. They've been playing together for many, many years. They're very, very experienced. So we are aware that this is a mighty challenge for our team. But what an honor for ourselves and also for our country. Ek moet sê, ek was baie verras met die eerste toetse spelpatroon. Ons het navorsing gedoen, die wedstrijd Engeland wel eens gekyk. Jy kan sien, hulle is nie vir niet wereldbeker doove kampioene nie. Ek denk, hulle speel baie goeie rugby, maar hulle kan geklop word. What's your prediction for the next test? Met die eerste toets het ons gesien, dat wel eens ons oorheers met los balle op die grond. So ons gaan dit nou verhoed, laat hulle ons grond toevat, op ons voete bly, vinnige bal speel en kyk of ons kan dreedruk op die manier.
How do you feel about the outcome of the first test? Very, uh, very pleasing, very pleasing. Coming this far and to get the win is a, is a massive thing for us. Uh, we've been pre preparing for months now. Um, um, we knew it was going to be a tough challenge, but I thought we rose to the occasion and uh, we got what we wanted. So what has the team learned from the first test that will be prevented today? We looked at our weaknesses from the previous test and how we made mistakes. We kept that in mind when we came up with our new game strategy. In the next test, we will know what to do. not to tell. What is your game plan? Uh, one of our main things we, I wouldn't say failed on, but we need improvements was our kickoffs. Uh, I mean, I dropped two balls, three balls, but everyone makes mistakes, but we have, we're going to work on that this afternoon and we've discussed it um, from our analysis session. So I think we're just going to try and spread it wide, change the game for what it was, because we used, we were very forward dominated. But we want to get the backs involved because they have all the skill and the ability and try and in interlink both forwards and backs. Look, I promise not to tell. What is your game plan? Look at yesterday's preparations, afsluitings, oefening. Het ons besluit om glad nie rakste vorm losgemaal met ander woord op die grond nie omdat Wallense voorspelers ons oorheers het ons besluit om op ons voete te bly en vinnige balverspreiding te doen twee keer met die voorspelers aan te val en dan weer vir die achterlyn die bal te gee wat spoed Die Zuid-Afrikaanse Spanse sterk punte lee in ons tempo rugby wat ons speel. Ons hou daarvan om die bal levendig te hou, die bal te versprei en met die achterlijn dreeën te druk. Before we came here, we had already prepared ourselves mentally looking at solutions and our fears and how to strengthen ourselves. We have to learn a lot about rugby as a deaf team. We have to be strong. We are ready to play against Wales. What do you think of the South African team? Do you think they're formidable? I was impressed with their fitness. I was impressed with the handling ability. There is obviously things to work on, but that's in time. I mean, we've been together, well, we've been going for about 14 years, I think, I can't remember, to be honest. But um, we've got experience, we've played together for a long time. And for them to put up a good a game like that, uh, it was great, it was fantastic.
was very impressed with the South African team when you consider they haven't been together that long. They they never give up. They, they've got a good level of fitness and a good level of uh, dog it dog where they 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 always competed. Even even with the score line was quite big. They competed from the from the first whistle to the, to the last whistle. So very good team. Very good team. It's half time. Wales 36, South Africa 3. Let's hope we score in the second half. Unless we develop the talent pool in the, in the various provinces and also start a Death Curry Cup, which we want to do next year, we are not going to be able to sustain this growth that we've had over the past year. But obviously, if we are going to compete at the international standard and beat a team as good and big and strong as the Welsh team are, we are going to need a lot of extra financial and logistical support. I'm coaching myself and my philosophy is you, uh, you can never win a game without a set piece. That's a scrum, line out. I think they need to improve on that and then the rest will fall in place.
What other deaf teams have you played against? Unfortunately, some teams are folded. Uh, Scotland are folded, we played them. Um, so at the North Heathersphere, we've only really got England. We play a lot of hearing teams. Um, quite good standard. Uh, we, some, we sometimes lose, we sometimes win, but it's a great challenge for us. We just want to be able to compete with anyone to show that hearing, you know, there's no barriers, as we say. There's no barriers. Because it's, you know, being, being hard of hearing is hard. It's not, it's not easy at all. Why is deaf rugby diminishing worldwide? Some governing bodies just are not interested in helping disability sports, maybe through funding, or there's not enough interest, or... It is disappointing, and some people, like I say, some people see it as a gimmick, but I assure you it's not fantastic. If, you know, to play for your country, whether you're deaf, disabled, anything, it's just yeah, it's a fantastic honour. Wales won the test. Wales 65, South Africa 8. For more information, visit our website www.deftv.co.za. There are current exciting things in the pipeline. In February next year, we're probably going to be having a tour with Argentina. We're not sure if they'll come here or go overseas. And then during the course of next year, there's a world championship for deaf rugby planned in Wales which we would like to take part in. There will be 12 nations at this stage taking part, and we want to be there. I would love to come to South Africa again. I mean, it's a surreal place. Uh, I've never experienced anything quite like it. Um, but it's also quite humbling as well. I'd probably like to come with my girlfriend, to be fair. I mean, I don't think she ever fancies it, but I can, I'm, I'll definitely be changing her mind. I'd maybe try Cape Town and go to the Kruger Park. I'd like to go there um, and just experience a bit more of it rather than just Pretoria.